Hey guys, Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo. I'm checking out Cadillac's new Q. It's basically taking a tablet, putting it in a car, in a seamless dash with a Linux based operating system. Now that is pretty awesome. It has a pretty fast processor and it can do a lot of the things that your tablet or your smartphone are capable of doing. I'm going to take a little demo, uh, so stick around and check it out. We got a we got a three core ARM 11 processor in here, That's 400 cool. MIPS per core. Okay. I mean, this thing is extremely capable. It's Linux based software. Okay. Um, so kind of the nice best, and open. Best of the open, yeah. the best of the best software developers in the open architecture world taking what they've done and incorporating it into our, our system here. And the list is beautiful because what you have is the ability to kind of drag yourself down the side of a list here. Okay. And you can kind so of similar feel to it. the iPhone contacts. It, Exactly, yep. exactly. So what we've, we've done a couple things here, right? We've created the ability to flick in the system, just like in an iPad, and it's not tuned yet. That's why it's flicking very far. I can grab it. I can drag it up and down, and I have a great interface in the middle that shows me kind of where I am. Okay. If I'm on 1 to 1.5 and I want to know, I want to be up around 89, I can just touch 89 over here, and it puts me right there up around 89. Well, let's jump over to Nav. So okay. Let's get, let's get, uh, let's get one of our good. favorite artists playing. Let's see, what, let's see what I got here for you that we can play. Any um, uh, Queen, Freddie? Mercury? I don't. I don't. All right, that's okay. foster the people? Uh, you know, maybe I'd rather go for Britney Spears. You want? To? Let's do yeah, Britney. Let's do Britney. All right. So we'll get uh, we'll get Britney playing on here. Okay. It's it's pretty quick. I'm impressed. It is. And again, we're at a beta level software. Yeah. Again, you know, there's little bugs. Our album art didn't come up. It should come up, but it, it will come up in the system. And you um, said you're six months. We're six months out, out of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so there's so much. That we have, you have so yeah. many software releases left. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not funny. So as we're talking about the um, um, the reveal and approach, so I went to a very clean screen. As I approach the system, you start to see the system come up. What I can interact with. Yeah. We talk about an app tray. I want to switch over to Nav. Nav is sitting right up in my app tray. Sorry, we didn't. Uh, okay, so that's your main applications tray right on the top Exactly. There. Okay, very cool. So now I'm in my nav, and it's, uh, again, we're beta. We're coming up here. We're just okay. taking our good time doing it. So one thing that's cool about the app tray, we'll go back to the home page. Just like on your consumer device today, um, I can press and hold. I can go into an edit mode. There we my go. My app tray, I, SMS text is important to me. I can take SMS text, and I can drag it up into my app tray and replace something that's up there. Mm, kind of looks like a little Android going on there and, and a little iOS too. Absolutely, yeah. very, very. Yep. The idea of Q was to. Um, we heard a lot from our customers. We don't want to relearn how to use something. We want to. We know how to use these consumer devices. Get those consumer devices in the car and let us be familiar with what you're putting in our vehicles. We have a great lighted storage bin inside here with a USB port, so I can plug in my iPod. I can stick my iPhone in there. I can stick my Android in there. Okay. Connect the system via Bluetooth. Um, I can connect up to ten Bluetooth devices on this. Two can be added at once. Um, the system will support all your major Bluetooth profiles for phone connections, audio streaming, text messaging, um, even the newest audio streaming where I can browse my music and get all that information up there as well. So the idea is get in the car, get your phone in the storage bin or your device in the storage bin, put it away, don't touch it, and use the great interface that we have on the screen here to access what's on your phone in a safe manner. Our, our steering wheel controls are really focused around the right hand side of the steering wheel for infotainment. We have a five way controller kind of up, down, left, right, and center select. And what that is, is supposed to be a very intuitive interface that I can go through here. I'm going up. I want to go in settings. I want to change my layout. I went down to press it, pick the layout that looks cool to me. I'm a performance guy. I'll choose my performance layout. The system will come back, build me a performance layout, and uh, give me a different different experience, but still all the same information. So what do I have available to me? I have vehicle information. I have vehicle information in a very cool, um, you know, almost video game-like atmosphere with 3D, 3D graphics rendering on screen there. Now speaking of video games, can you play video games? You, should, you aren't going to be able to play video games in the car. If you're a passenger. So the idea, the, again, the idea with Q is not to, um, not to bring technology for the sake of technology in the car. It's to have a very um, safe driving experience, but we're all connected. We don't want to get in our car and not be connected. So the idea is get in the car, keep your connected life, but in a safe and usable fashion. While you're driving. I admire that. All I right. do. I well, do. thank you. Because I don't want people running around playing Super Mario Brothers like ROM. So that would be yeah. scary. Your, your car. That'd be really your car cool. will no. Your, your car will no longer be safe if you do that. No. No. 
So, and, and just to finish out what we can do on the screen here, we have all of our phone connections on the screen. If I get an upcoming phone call, I'm going to get a picture of the person. If I get a text message, I'm going to get notified that I have one. Oh, so it's all migrated to the primary dash. Exactly. That's so everything I can do here, I can do here.